So today I want to talk about 90 Day Fiance before the 90 days, specifically Kimberly and Usman, and the mess that this man insists on creating by dangling his affections in front of this woman like she's some kind of toy. And she lets him. Okay, so Kim and Usman met online, and I've already talked about how this dude simply used her to get back on the show. I heavily believe that, which is why I also believe that he insists on getting to know her better before getting into a relationship with her, because he has no intention of getting into an actual relationship with her, because that's not why he started talking to her. Anyway, I digress. We've been watching this man keep this woman hanging on his every word like some lovesick teenager. And I don't know about you, but I'm starting to wonder if this woman realizes that those big things that are pointed at her are cameras and that the whole world can see how horribly pathetic she looks. But anyway, now on the one hand, I feel like Kim's no spring chicken. She's old enough to know when someone is playing with her. But for some reason, she's letting this child take his sweet time deciding whether he wants to be in a relationship with her. And in the process of making that decision, he's holding her hand, he's sleeping in the same bed, and then the last clip, which I'll load to my Twitter and Instagram accounts, she giggles as she says that he was touching certain body parts. Yeah. In addition, he says that doing those things and more is against his culture until he's in a relationship with her. Um, excuse me, sir. You don't have someone that you're thinking about getting into a relationship with travel halfway around the world just to test it out or see how you fit. She says that he hasn't hasn't even kissed her. Wouldn't a sane person feel like that was a huge red flag? Also, who else found it weird that when she went to the video shoot for his song Zara, she wasn't concerned about who this Zara chick was and that he's shooting a video for a song that he wrote about Zara? while trying to decide whether or not he should be in a relationship with Kim. And did you not find it strange that Kim wouldn't see this Zara person and not think, shit, if he likes her or liked her, what am I doing here? Clearly I'm not his type. You'd think she would take the L and move on. Find someone who actually wants to be with her. To be fair, Kim isn't even the same species as Zara. Two people couldn't possibly be more different. I think that a big part of why she won't let go is because she's obsessed with his age. It's not the whole reason, but I think it's a big reason. It's a big part of why she won't let this dude go because she's completely obsessed with his age. I don't know what it is about some older women who will let a man half her age get away with the shit that they do because of his age. It's like she needs to prove that she can get a man who's almost half her age. Newsflash, sweetheart, you can't. Even a patchy bearded, clout chasing singer wannabe, especially this one, again, look at the woman he's actually attracted to. I heard in the wind somewhere that she's actually still in Nigeria with him as of the uploading of this video. Kim needs to go home and find a man who actually wants her. She's wasting what's left of her youth with this dude. That's all I've got for 90 Day Fiance before the 90 days. Again, and as usual, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.